Welcome back everybody, my name is Tucker, this is Sporting Logically, and today I want to talk about a few NBA rookies, but not the same handful of guys that get most of the attention. While Ben Simmons and Jason Tatum and Donovan Mitchell, among others, have had outstanding first seasons in the NBA, I wanted to shine some light on a few guys that might not have brought with them such high expectations, but nonetheless have impressed in their own way as rookies. These guys might not be future all-stars or be putting up eye-popping numbers, but they're still players that I believe more people should know about for their contributions this season relative to what was expected of them as rookies. Let's go ahead and get started. Number one, an early second round pick by the Sacramento Kings, Frank Mason III was never expected to be much of a contributor at the point guard position for the team this season. Despite a wildly successful career and final season at Kansas, the Kings had already used a top five pick on another point guard in the same draft when they selected De'Aaron Fox. When looking at Mason's per game numbers, you might not be that impressed at first, especially with his field goal percentage. However, when you translate those numbers to per 36 minutes, you can see how much of an impact Mason has in relatively limited minutes. This becomes even more impressive when you compare these per 36 minute stats to those of the more celebrated Fox, as Mason is on par with and even outshines the highly touted guard out of Kentucky in a number of categories. The biggest advantage Mason has over his fellow point guard is his ability to make shots from the outside, something that should be expected based off their respective shooting numbers in college. It should be mentioned that Mason is nearly four years older than Fox as a result of a much longer college career than the one and done star. Now let's be clear, De'Aaron Fox is having a solid rookie season as well, and I'm not saying that Frank Mason is or will be a better player. But I am saying that based off the expectations that were set for the second round pick out of Kansas prior to the season, Kings fans should be very happy with the production Mason has provided and what's turned out to be a great first season in the NBA for him. Number two. The focus of the thumbnail for today's video, you could also argue that Jared Allen should be the focal point of the Nets organization moving forward, even with players such as Jeremy Lin and D'Angelo Russell on the roster. Now having said that, I wouldn't be shocked if a good amount of you watching this video have very little idea who Jared Allen even is, because well, it's the Nets we're talking about, easily one of the most forgettable franchises of this NBA season. Despite that, Allen is a guy you need to be paying attention to moving forward. Originally considered a project as a late first round pick by the Nets after just one season at Texas, the big man has consistently improved in each month as a pro. Just like with our previous entry, Allen's per game numbers across the entire season might not seem that impressive, but he's really picked up his game since the All-Star break as he's earned more minutes on the floor. Athletic, rim protecting, and rolling big men are perfect for the modern NBA and Allen checks every one of those boxes for Brooklyn. When you add in his promising free throw percentage, it isn't crazy to think that Allen could eventually extend the range on his jump shot out to 18 feet and even pass the three point line in future seasons. His biggest impact comes on the defensive end, however, leading the team in blocks per 36 minutes and win shares per 48 minutes. Something that isn't necessarily surprising as rim protection was seen as his most translatable NBA skill during the draft process. Something that provides a great deal of hope to a Nets franchise that is still in for a long rebuild despite the promising rookie season of their still just 19 year old big man. Number three, if you watch the Rising Stars challenge of the All-Star break, then you'll likely know at least a little bit about the impressive rookie season Dylan Brooks has had for the Memphis Grizzlies. The Ontario native had an impressive three-year run with the Oregon Ducks before declaring for the NBA draft a year early, a decision that he might have initially regretted after being drafted in the middle of the second round by the Houston Rockets and being traded to the Grizzlies on draft night. Despite where he was selected in the draft, Brooks has been one of the lone bright spots in an otherwise dismal season for Memphis as a rookie. At 6'6 six six and 220 pounds, Brooks provides good size on the wing along with a solid three-point stroke to fit the mold of the 3 and D wing that's become so valuable in the modern NBA. He's currently third on the team in scoring among players who have played at least 50 games, which might be more of an indication of how poorly the season has gone for the Grizzlies than anything else. But nonetheless, Brooks has been a high impact player for the team in his first season in the league. Though not as much of an advanced stat darling as the other two players on this list, Brooks's statistical contributions to his team are obvious. He's currently top 10 among rookies in points per game and three point percentage, despite not being as much of an offensive focal point or playing as many minutes as a number of other rookies that share those lists with him. Though he will likely never be an all-star, Brooks has shown signs of a long and productive career on the wing as a player that will use his size and strength to provide versatility on the defensive end while providing dependable shot making on offense. If the Grizzlies are able to rebound next season in terms of their health and their relative talent level, don't be surprised to see Brooks providing valuable contributions to a Grizzlies team with playoff aspirations. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, then leaving a like rating down below is a great way to let me know. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe to Sporting Logically for more videos every Wednesday through Saturday. Thank you so much, and I will see all of you guys next time.